your Soundbrenner metronome will normally open to this home screen here, but you want to tap the player. Then, for the most part, the default is set up how we want it. 4-4 four, four time, you want to set that up first if it's not, and you can change that to the time signature you need. Then we want to make sure that a quarter note is shown here. Later on down the road, we can switch that and add some subdivisions inside of it. That can be very handy. But for now, for the most part, we just use the quarter note. This button, don't even worry about it. Just leave that off. Then up here, we see represented the four beats in the measure. You see that the first beat looks different than the rest of the beats. And you'll also hear that it sounds different. When we press the play button, Now, sometimes this is very handy to have the first beat different than the rest. That way, you get started on the first beat, and then if you get off, then you can tell because the first beat is different. All of a sudden, that click is on a different beat. And typically, when that happens, it's probably because you uh, didn't hold a half note long enough or something like that. But some other times, this can be just a little bit annoying. So um, other times, we we'll just go ahead and tap that again until it looks like the other beats with this one single black strip on the bottom. Now we listen to it. Then it doesn't really matter on which beat you start playing because all the beats sound the same. So finally we have the dial that changes the tempo and a lot of times when we start a, a new song we're going to be down in this area about 60 beats per minute. Happy practicing.